All right, good morning everyone. So today I have a new setup. Today my face is not going to be in this video because I'm trying to figure out how I can put things underneath the camera so it's easy for you to see. So I have set up, you can see the raisins right here. So what I have here is I have a can of raisins, another can, and then I have my camera, and then a can on top to hold my camera in place. So I'm getting pretty creative here, I'm trying to create like a document camera, kind of like the camera that we have in class, so you can see what I'm doing underneath the screen. So we're trying that today, but um, I do have a video of me reading a story to you that you guys can watch. So let's see, and I'll put, place the link in this um, video in the description box of this video, I'll place a link. So today we're going to do, we're on week one, day five. So I want to do reading and writing with you and we can cross off movement and PE, art and reading because that will all be in the description box below this video. So, and I believe I read the story called um, Nuffle Bunny. So I'm reading Nuffle Bunny today for this day. And then um, tomorrow will be Nuffle Bunny too. So you guys will have to check those out because I know you guys like the story Nuffle Bunny. It's pretty funny. So for reading today, it says read for 15 minutes, use a book of your own or a foldable book from the end of this packet. So we've already read A Veteran's Day and A Late Thanksgiving Dinner. So I am not having you guys read those again. We already read them. So with your family, if you choose to, you can reread those stories or you can go back and listen to a story that I read to you this week. That's your choice, okay? So that part is easy peasy. We're done with that part. But it does say this week you read Veterans Day and a late Thanksgiving dinner. Which story did you like best? So we are going to do our own writing. So on this page right here, you'll have to find, it looks like this. It's got lines down here and um, a space up here. So we're going to write about one of our stories that we read this week. One of the stories that we read this week was, let me get it really quick. One of the stories was Froggy Gets a Doggy. So we read Froggy Gets a Doggy this week. And I would like us to write about dogs, okay? Actually, change my mind. Let's write about frogs. Okay, let's write about froggies. Froggy gets a doggy. So today we're going to write about frogs. Okay, so what do we know about frogs? I'm going to try my best to post a video about frogs for you too that you can watch. So I'm going to write my name first. Okay, and then I need to write frogs. I'm not writing that big, but big enough that I can see what it says frogs okay and then I think I need to write frogs have and over here I'll write frogs are okay so I want you to watch the link I'm going to post a link to um the video about frogs so you can learn and then I want you to come back onto this page and write about frogs with me okay so I'm gonna write down a note frog video and I'll make sure I post one for you okay frogs have what do frogs have frogs have that's right frogs have legs frogs have um tails when they're when they're a tadpole, but not now. They lose their tail when they get older. Frogs have eyeballs, tongues. They have all kinds of things, right? Frogs have, um, they have snacks. What do they eat for their snacks? That's right, they eat flies. There's all kinds of stuff, so you pick. I'm going to write legs. Frogs have legs. Frogs are what? Frogs are green. Are they slimy? Maybe you can write frogs are slimy frogs are incredible there's all kinds of things that you can write 
Okay, so that's what I chose to write. You can make your choice. So now I'm going to write my sentence right here. And don't forget that you have to have something to keep your spot. So I'm gonna grab, this is what I have, it's a little clip. So I'm going to put my little clip in my place right here where it says frogs. And I'm going to remember to do the slide. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, so I'm going to do a slide. Always start at the top of the slide. Okay, so we have at the top of the slide, we have the word frogs. Frogs. Okay, and then I need to do a finger space and move my little marker down. Frogs have. Okay, finger space again. Frogs have legs or whatever you want to put. They have long tongues. You can add more detail, it's up to you. Frogs have legs. Awesome. Don't forget, I'm going fast and I know that. So if you need to pause, you can. Now let's do this slide. Frogs are green. Okay, frogs, I'm gonna write it. It looks like I have room to write it right here, so I'm gonna start it right here. Frogs. Move down my slide. R. Sorry, I'm trying to make it where you can see it. R. Go down a little bit more. Green. Or you can write whatever you want to write about frogs. Period. Frogs have legs. Frogs are green. Perfect. Now I need to get my green and my red and make sure that I tip my capital at the beginning of each sentence. Capital, frogs have legs, period, and circle it. Frogs are green, and circle the period at the end. Perfect, if you wanna be a superstar, you can even write a third sentence about frogs. That is it for the writing, and I want you to try to draw a picture of a frog. Maybe I can even find a video on how to draw a frog. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, let me write myself a note, see if I can add a video. So I'm gonna put a frog video for you, and I'm gonna put how to draw a frog. Can you guys think of any names of some famous frogs? Like Kermit the Frog. And don't forget to rewatch the story, Froggy Gets a Doggy. Okay, so let's check this off. So for reading today, your job is to go listen to some of my stories that I already posted. For writing, we just wrote about frogs. Now it's time to do some math. So let's see what we have for math. It says lessons four and five. That should be easy peasy enough. And parents, I don't know if you guys got the message, but I sent out a message about having a Zoom meeting for our class. So if you are interested in learning more about what Zoom is or participating in a Zoom video chat, let me know and I will send you the information. But I thought it would be really fun for us to have a, a Zoom video chat so the kids can see each other. All right, the first thing you do is always the same. We pick up our pencil and we write our name. All right, so we have some leaves right here. It says eight minus three equals five. And let's count the leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight leaves and then we crossed off three. We got rid of three. How many are left? One, two, Three, four, five. All right, and then we have five lawnmowers. One, two, three, four, five. And we crossed off one, two, three. So five lawnmowers take away three equals how many? How many are left? Just two. Let's read it again. Five minus three equals two. Five 
minus three equals two. Or you could say five take away three equals two. Watch on my hands. Five take away three, one, two, three, equals two. Four minus one equals, let's figure it out. We have one, two, three, four. We're gonna take away one. How many are left? One, two, three. Four minus one equals three. Four minus one equals three. All right, let's do this page. All right, so we have, oh, it says cut and paste. Okay, so down here you have some things that says you can cut out. It says cut and paste five puppies next to the dog house. Okay, I can do that. Let me take this off and get out my scissors. Remember, if you're using scissors at home, be safe. Ask for permission first. We only cut paper. And please do not leave scissors out where young, younger brothers and sisters can get them because we do not want them to get hurt, okay? So I have to be responsible and make good choices. Okay, let me put that right back there. And now I have all these little doggies and kitties I'm cutting out. They're so cute. You guys should pause the video and color them. All right, cut. Cut. And cut. So I have all my little doggies and kitty cats. And let's see what it says. It says cut and paste. Well, it's okay because I don't have paste here. So I'm just going to place them. The dog, five puppies next to the dog house. Okay, so I'm going to put five puppies next to the dog house. One. That's not a doggy, that's a cat. Let me find two. Three. And maybe you need to pause the video while you cut yours. Three. I gotta separate these cats and dogs. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Trace the number that tells how many puppies. Okay. So I'm getting out my marker or my pencil. Five. I have five puppies. Five dogs. And then three puppies walk away. Okay. I'm going to make three puppies walk away. One. Two. Three. Okay. So my three puppies walked away, and it says to draw an X on them. X, X, and an X, okay? Five minus three equals, all right, so now it wants me to count the puppies that are left. Well, I had to put X's on those because they went away. So how many puppies do I have left? Just two, and I'm going to write it. Cool. Five minus three equals two. Let's do it on our hand. Five minus three. One, two, three. There are, sorry, five minus one, two, three. There are two left. Excellent. Let me move these puppies out of the way. Bye-bye, puppies. Now for the next one, it says cut and paste four kittens next to the water bowl. Only four, okay? So pay attention because I think we, we have five kittens. And so don't put five on there, just four. One, two, three, four. Four kittens, okay? Write the number. Okay, so you start with four. Four kittens next to the water bowl. That's the number that tells me how many. Two kittens walk away. So I'm putting them way over here. They're walking away. I'm going to cross them off. How many walked away? Minus two. Okay. Equals how many kittens are left? Let's count them. One, two. Four minus two equals two. Easy peasy. Nacho cheesy. That was very easy. And now... That's um, our math for the day, but I just remembered I didn't do the blue book. 
Oh my goodness, silly Miss Newton. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here and we're gonna do a few of these before our video is over, okay? So let me get out what I need. All right, so we are going to do a couple words. Let's do the word dip. Ready? So stretch it. Dip. Ready? Here we go. D. E. P. D. E. P. Dip. Excellent. Let's do the word hot. Stretch it. Hot. 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 And don't forget, you can find something at home to move down. Maybe at home you can use your little kitties today and put your kitties up here and pull your little kittens down. Watch, let me try it. I'll try it with kitties and doggies, okay? So I'm gonna put my kitties and doggies in here. Okay, here we go. Oh, they're so cute. Let's do cat. Ready? Cat. Here we go. At. At. Cat. See, you don't even have to have the blue circles. You can have whatever you want to make it work. All right, let's do another one. How about map? Map. M a p. M a p. Map. Good. Let's do tick. Tick. T e k. T e k. Tick. Let's do hip. Hip. E p. E p. Hip. Good. And one more. Let's do the word dip. Dip. D. E. P. D. E. P. Dip. Awesome job. Okay, that is going to be it today. We did a really short one today. And that's okay. That gives you some extra time to play today. And don't forget to check in the description box for uh, some fun things for you to do. Don't forget to do your sight words today. Don't forget to have fun and listen to your parents and be good. Make smart choices. I will see you guys soon. Miss you.